Hello again. Good morning, my dear Mathayum uh, 4 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. So today we're going to continue our lesson on probability. Okay, so we're going, going to find the value of the variable x. Okay, so these are the uh, two problems that I gave you last oh, yesterday. Okay, so, and there are some students who did not get the answer for these two numbers. So I will give you today the answers. So this is number one. Number one says that there are 28 girls and 22 boys in the school field. Another X girls and two X boys join the children in the school field. The probability of selecting a girl or a girl become 2 over 5. Now find the value of X. Okay, so as you can see here that we have or we are using variable X for the number of girls and boys okay so first is the first thing that we need to do is to many girls and how many boys are there so we have the girls here 28 plus x and the boys 22 plus 2x because as we add uh, girls x girls and 2x boys so we have there all the girls and all the boys now uh, we have here the Sample space, the number of the sample space or the cardinality of the sample space. So you have there, so you will see 2x plus 28 plus x, then you have uh, 22 plus 2x, or we say that the cardinality of the sample space is 50 plus 3x. Now we need to know what is the value of x later after. Now, it says also here that the, prob the probability of selecting a girl become 2 over 5. So meaning to say that uh, we need to use the event to be the girl since that we have uh, the given here is the probability of selecting a girl. Now this is the cardinality of the event or the cardinality of the girls that is 28 plus x. Nah? Now using again the uh, formula of the probability we have here. The probability of the uh, event is equal to the number of the, or the cardinality of the event divided by the cardinality of the sample space. Now we substitute the value we have here. So remember that we have already here the probability of selecting the girl or the, as the event. That is 2 over 5. Now we have here the cardinality of the event which is 28 plus x. And we have your sample space, which is 50 plus 3x. Okay? Now, from here, we can transpose, multiply, uh, or cross-multiply on both sides. So, we have here, we multiply 2 times 50 plus 3x and 5 times 28 plus x. And we distribute each of the term to the inside term. We have this one. So, we have 2 times 50 is 100. 2 times 3x is 6x. Then 5 times 28 is 140, and 5 times x is 5x. And we combine like terms. So we transpose 5x to the, other, to the left side, and we transpose 100 to the right side. We have here 6x minus 5x is equal to 140 minus 100. And we subtract that one. We have x is equal to 40. Therefore, the value of x here that we are talking to like, another X girl there were 40 girls that were added and for the boys there were 80 boys that were added added or joined the children in the school field okay did you understand my question what? now we go to the next one this one there are 25 blue balls and X yellow balls in a basket one ball is selected at random Given the probability that it is a yellow, and the uh, the probability is 4 over 9. Now find the value of x. So we have here again the, the sample space and the event. We have here two, the, ball, uh, the blue and the yellow. Nah? So we have here the sample space. 
the sample space we have the blue plus the yellow we have 25 plus x okay and we have here given the probability of a yellow ball being as the event so you have the yellow ball and we have here uh, the cardinality of the yellow ball is x na so that's what we're going to uh, to find out what is the value of x so using the probability again we have here the cardinality of the event which is uh, x and we have here the cardinality of the sample space which is 25 plus x we substitute that again we cross multiply we multiply 4 times 25 plus x and 9 times x we have there and we distribute multiply 4 times 25 and 4 times x we have there 100 times uh, 4 uh, plus 4x is equal to 9x and we combine like terms we transpose 4x to the right side together with 9x we have this one 9x minus 4x is equal to 100 and therefore 5x equal to 100 and we divide that 100 divided by 5 or x therefore is 20 nah? so meaning to say that there were 20 yellow balls in a basket okay question what did you understand my okay so we go to the next one we have here so for this problem there are two questions so uh, I will read it first there are 27 green marbles uh, uh, X pink marbles and 3x plus 8 white marbles in a box mr. Patara select one marble by random from this box okay now question a if the probability that mr. Patara selected a marble is pink and it and it is equal to 1 over 9 find the number of the pink marbles nah? and letter B if mr. Patara selected a marble and he put back into the box and selected another marble find the probability that the marble selected will be first a white marble second a green marble and third we have a black marble nah? okay so we have here the different uh, marbles inside the box we have the green pink and white okay so we have here the number of green which is 27 the number of pink we don't know it yet there is only x and for the white with expression of 3x plus 8 okay uh, so we have here the next slide we're going to answer first uh, letter a that's one now here given in uh, letter a that uh, the probability of being the pink marble as the event is equal to 1 over 9 so we're going to use the pink marble as our event for letter A since that the probability for this is given now what is the sample space again the sample space we just add all of these events the green the pink and the white so we have here the green 27 we have the pink X and the white is is 3x plus 8 nah? So for letter A, we have uh, the pink, which is X. Now we have here the probability again, the, the formula is for A. So this is the value of or the cardinality of the pink marble, which is X. And this is the sample space, 27 plus X plus 3X plus 8. And that the probability for that for the pink marbles is 1 over 9. Nah? So we simplify this and multiply with 1. We have that one. We simplify. 27 plus 8 is uh, 35. X plus 3X is 4X. Then we cross multiply that one. We have 35 plus 4X is equal to 9X. And we transpose 4X together with 9X. So that would be 9X minus 4X was 35. 9X minus 4X is 5X. Then we divide 5 to 35. We have X to be 7. Okay, so there are seven pink marbles in that box. Okay, did you understand my question? Okay, so I hope you understand that. And we go to uh, letter B. For letter B, we have uh, three. Uh, we need to figure out what are the probability for these three marbles. Now we bring off the cardinality again. So we have there the cardinality. Now we know already what is the value of uh, the pink marbles right there are seven pink marbles 
So we can account the total, uh, the number, the exact number of the sample space for this in the box. So we just substitute the value of x, which is uh, 7. Okay. So we have there uh, x and uh, 3x is uh, 4x. Then 27 plus 8 is 35. Then we substitute x with 7, and we got 63 as the sample space. Na? Now, first question here is the white marble. White marble, there are 3x plus 8. Na? This is the sample space for the, mar uh, the white marble. The white marble, the sample space is 3x plus 8. So we substitute the value of uh, x, which is 7. So there are 29 white marbles. Na? We have 29 white marbles. So we can substitute this to the formula of the probability. So we have there the, the cardinality of the event, which is the white marble, is 29. The sample space is 63. And we divided that. We got 0.46. The probability of getting the white marbles. Now, second is the green marble. A green marble, there are 27. So we have already uh, the green marbles. There are 27 as the cardinality for the event green marble. Now we substitute that to the formula. So we have there 27 divided by 63, and we got 0.43. Nah, 0.43 as the probability of getting green marble. And last one is the black marble. Black marble, as you can see here in uh, the marbles in the box, there is no such black marble. Shall I? So meaning to say that. Uh, it's impossible that the mark, mark, uh, black marble will exist in the box. So we say that the black marble is zero. So the, the, num the cardinality of the uh, event, black marble is zero. We divided that by the sample space, or we got zero. Na? So meaning to say it's impossible that uh, the black marble will uh, exist in the box. So did you, did you understand my, the, the three, uh, the two, uh, three questions here, the probability. Okay, my. Oh my God! Wow! Okay, so we have here again um, uh, activity. This one, we have two numbers here. So I hope that you can figure out the, uh, the value of x here. So you're going to find the value of uh, uh, x for the two numbers here. And if you don't understand again, you can watch again the video many times so that it, you will understand more about it. Okay? So that's all for today, and we see you again next time. Bye-bye!